Hey, Lee, how are you? Hi, I'm well. How are you today? I'm so well. So I loved Crush. I loved you as AJ. You bring such authenticity and naturalism to your role. It's amazing. So how does it feel to be a part of a queer rom-com? What does that representation wow. mean to you? It feels so good. It really does. Uh, the queer community is one that is so vibrant and kind and welcoming. So I one, I'm happy to be involved with it IRL, but also to be making a film that will mean so much, I think, to our community and and it's just joyful and doesn't leave our characters with any residual trauma. Like yes. they just fall in love. They're just teenagers. It's it's a happy <laughs> rom-com. <laughs> yes. Nobody dies at the end. <laughs> no, no, they live happy ever after. <laughs> Finally. So tell me about the making of this movie. What are some of your favorite memories? Some of my favorite memories about making Crush. Um, I was super grateful to meet my cast. Oh, and also like our cast is stacked. We have Rowan Blanchard. I have it all memorized. We have Rowan Blanchard, <laughs> Tila Dunn, Isabella Ferreira, Rico Paris, Addie Wyrick, um, and Tyler Alvarez with Asif Manvi, Michelle Mullally, and no, Megan Mullally and Michelle Bateau. Like we have such an incredible cast with us that it was funny and it taught me so much coming to work every day. Oh, amazing. I loved your scene work with Isabella in particular. You two are the best together. What was it like working with her? She's wonderful. She is so talented, so beautiful and so kind. Like it was, we hung out a lot. Um, also after set every day. And she's just someone that, like a sister, I, I felt really comfortable speaking to her and and asking her like, what's next for you? Like, what are your dreams? You know, like, and, and I'm an only child. So it was really nice to have that sisterly bond. Yeah, and she's so great on Love, Victor. She is, she's so talented. Like, I cannot wait to see like her next projects and things like that. I'm, I'm rooting for her always. Yes. So growing up, did you ever see yourself reflected on screen? Were there ever any characters or queer characters you felt connected to? You know, I, I never watched a lot of TV and I think that was for the best because I didn't have to have to um, put myself in a box. Like I also never really came out. I came out on TikTok a couple years ago, but it wasn't, I, I just like made a video. I was like, I've always been bi. I've always been queer. I just never felt the need to announce it. And I think that that's something that I, I take with me, but also kind of catches me because people call me now, like I'm a bi con or like my representation is important to them. And I, I have to take a step back and realize it on kind of a macro scale. Like, oh, thank you. That that means so much to me. I, I could have never seen it coming. Yeah. So who are some of your role models? Some of my role models, um, probably Yara Shahidi. Mm -hmm. I think that she has such a vibrant voice um, as well as going to school, as well as being a successful actress, as well as being an activist and uplifting other people's voices. Um, yeah, I also uh, follow Blair Imani on Instagram, who is a queer Muslim activist and uh, content creator. Like there are so many wonderful women that I have found truly over kind of social media and um, over the pandemic because I consumed a lot of media. So I'm, I'm grateful that I got to kind of expand and, and hear stories and, and listen to people who were different for me. Yeah. And you have a lot of fans on TikTok, a lot of fans on social <laughs> media. What do you want to tell them about this movie? Oh, Crush is a wonderful and super funny teen rom-com that is queer, but does not focus on a coming out story because we are yeah. more than our sexuality. We are students and teachers and and educators artists. and artists and to live such a vibrant life like it, it's wonderful and this movie is about a crush and who you experience first love with and how that feels and 
and how like when you look at someone that you have a crush on like you see the colors and and like just this like joyful feeling coming straight out of your chest like I love love and I think people will really enjoy our film yes I agree so did you have any celebrity crushes growing up oh did I um maybe Simba from the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> yes honesty I love it <laughs> he was cute <laughs> so you've had some amazing scene partners over the years amazing collaborators who would you love to work with again oh that's a great question I'd love to work with Taika Taika Waititi again I would love to work with Ellen Menken again yes. such an incredible fan of his um who else everyone everyone <laughs> I've ever worked with I'd love to work with again <laughs> please ask me in anything you want <laughs> I love it and because I'm a musical theater person I have to ask what's happening with Spring Awakening oh my gosh okay so this is like the funniest gag ever is that it's on my IMDB yes. but um I have like I don't know who put that on there <laughs> no I mean, I'm not actually a part of it but it has a great cast attached to it so like I'm not gonna take I also don't know how to take it off but I don't know <laughs> anything about that production so if you know when Spring Awakening is happening tell me Tell me, because apparently I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So what have you been watching lately? What have you been reading or listening to lately? Oh, gosh. Um, I've been watching Moon Knight. That's mm -hmm. really fun. Um, Oscar Isaac is a dream. Also, taking notes on the British accent. Like, I'm not... Ha, who, ha, it's impeccable. What else have I been listening to? Um... Oh, Coachella is happening right now or yes. it happens during this weekend. So I was brushing up on my Doja Cat and Billie Eilish and the weekend just, you know, I'm not there, but I'm just trying to feel the vibes in this hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Did you bring Rocco with you to the hotel? Oh, uh, no, <laughs> I didn't bring Rocco this time around. I thought about it but it's such a busy week I wanted to but then I also it's really funny I was looking at this couch that I'm sitting on and I see the arm of it has like scratch marks in it I was like someone brought their cat <laughs> that's a cat trait right there <laughs> you can always tell always always <laughs> I love it well thank you so much for the art that you bring into the world I really appreciate it thank you for this movie mm. can't wait to see what you do next thank you Ellie I'll see you next time <laughs>